So my dudes back here. Today I'm going to be answering a question. Well, not answering a question. Answering some comments that I saw about how people, because the chasm is coming, are now saving for Dendro. And why you should not save for Dendro. With the chasm coming, hopefully we get a continuation of the storyline that I've been waiting over a year for. Because we got a little teensy bit of the chasm storyline in the 1.1 event. Uh, with Fischl and all that. There was some dragon spine, but there's also alluding to some chasm um there is a, an npc in front of the chasm that actually gives more info on that but besides that i want to talk about why you should not be saving for dendro there is an old adage an old term uh basically that i'd rather be with the devil i do know than the devil i don't it means that we have no idea what Dendro is going to be. We don't even know who the first unit's going to be. We have a lot of assumptions and reasons to believe it could be Baiju, but Mahoyo and following patterns do not get along. It's like watching two little chihuahuas yap at each other. They Mahoyo does not follow patterns, they just do things. Throw darts at the wall and see what sticks because it's hard to find out any type of pattern Mahoyo ever follows because they just seemingly have nonsensical ways of doing things, although I'm sure it's followed by studies and stuff to release units at specific times to try to maximize profits or take L's whenever needed. Uh, I'm sure there's reasons for everything, but, but, Mahoyo does not follow a pattern, so I would not count on Baiju being the very first unit. And then, not on top of that, we don't even know if Dendro is going to be good. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, I just want to summon because it's a cool new element. It's super cool, super pog. And I mean, I'm going to be real, that's why I'm going to summon too. But at the same time, um, you're going to be skipping a lot of power if you need it. Uh, Raiden Shogun is very, very strong. Yai Miko in the correct team is very strong. Kokomi, as the theorycraft community has shown in the correct team, can be strong. Well, she's her, her main assets making things wet, <laughs> but she can be very strong with the correct team. Um, very, very useful. So, a lot of characters have their strengths, and I get that we'll probably find a strength for Dendro eventually, but we just don't know what it does. There's too many unknowns for me to say, yeah, go ahead and save. Now, that being said, with Chasm looking to be both 2.6 and 2.7, we're looking at Sumeru probably 2.8-ish. Um, if I was a betting man, I would say Sumeru probably 2.8, and that will probably be the first Dendro character, meaning that there is probably a whole two patches and whatever's left of this one for you guys that are wanting to save up for Dendro to save for a Dendro character, so you're gonna have to... You're going to be waiting about 12 weeks before you can get your first glimpse of a Dendro character, assuming they're even on the first banner. Um, but that's, in my opinion, about how long it's going to take. But I just can't recommend saving for them whenever we have no idea what they do. Now, granted, I want to be completely transparent in this and that I could be totally wrong. I could be sitting here telling you guys, and you'll summon your Raiden Shogun, and she's super strong, and she's like, oh my god, Raiden Shogun's so good, or Yamiko's so good, or all this, and then Dendro comes out, and it's totally cracked, and you're like, why did I listen to Valk? And in that case, if that's the situation, I'm sorry, but I have to go based off the information I know, and the information that I know is that I know nothing about Dendro, but I do know Raiden Shogun is very strong, I do know Yamiko in an Electro Team Comp will be very, very powerful, I do know these things to be true. So, that's basically the video, just wanted to have a discussion on this, just wanted to put out this warning because I saw a lot of people super amped up, and justifiably so, for Dendro, saying how much they're going to save for Dendro, but I want to put out this caution because we have no idea what it does, we don't even know who the first unit's going to be. So, that's basically the video. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think, like I said, you should not be saving for Dendro. But, just my opinion, my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.